please forgive my film quality. The United States Postal Service has lost my phone. I left it in my friend's truck. And I've been like two weeks trying to get it back. <laughs> so, yeah. So, forgive me for everything being scratchy and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's such a beautiful night. It really, really is. Solstice tomorrow. Summer is here. I don't know about y'all, but summer's my season. So, between the full strawberry moon in Sagittarius a couple weeks ago, um, that kind of unlocked, um, kind of picked the scab off of a lot of wounds for a lot of people. And the new moon in Gemini over the weekend kind of We have the solstice energies. The solstice energies are pretty strong too. So people have been feeling a lot. Um, there's several timelines open, and the lower ones are fighting really, really hard to be chosen. I know I was in. Whew, <laughs> I was in a very dark place. Um, darker than I had been in years. Yeah. Yeah. Old behaviors and old attitudes and old th thought processes. Yeah. So now it's what this solstice in accordance with the uh, Recent full, or recent new moon, rather, <laughs> has um, yeah, it's time to close these bitches out, y'all. We always have a choice, you know. Free your will is a thing, you know. You can have all your spirit team around you, your intuition can be screaming at you. still have a choice sometimes we make the right one too late and it's painful it is painful seasons are changing yeah just like the seasons a lot you know things die out towers fall and have to be rebuilt and that's what that's what this cycle is it's just everything breaking down and giving us the opportunity to build back a better foundation huh yeah I don't know about y'all but my life has been shaken up shaken up and shook the crap out of and yeah yeah so I have been working with Archangel Michael the past few days and Buddha is very present and I was given permission as well as being led to channel Buddha's codes for the crown chakra, cleaning it up and cleaning the third eye. I've had a lot of people reaching out <laughs> today. Um, with a lot of headaches and a lot of sinus pressure and things like that and, you know if we don't get rid of the old stuff there's you know there's no room for new it's just like cleaning out your closet so you can get a new wardrobe I'm so sorry about the traffic I love it here I absolutely love it here um, I'm just not crazy about the traffic but anyhow it's too it's too beautiful of a night to be in the house to do this um, yeah so anyhow um, a lot of people are experiencing headaches. I know I've had one for about three days, and I've done a really major clearing last night. Um, I've done a heart dearmoring over the weekend, and it was probably the most intense activation I have ever had or that I've ever experienced or I have ever facilitated for myself or anyone else. And, um, 
yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm gonna channel some um, some Buddha lock codes, and we are gonna take care of our chakras. You know, there is nothing we seek externally um, that cannot be found within. All the answers that we will ever need um, are inside. Yeah, we just have to be willing and open. Um, the answers come, but we still have to put them in action. Yeah. So anyhow, I'm using my, this is like my trademark, <laughs> um, my guy grounding oil that I use for Reiki. Sandalwood, cedarwood, um, frankincense, and lavender. It's just so dreamy. Um, speaking of which, I have a business. I don't know if I've ever really talked to anybody on YouTube about it. I'm trying to make the transition from Facebook to YouTube. And it's a difficult transition to make. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I want to be done with Facebook. So, anyhow. Um, I create a handcraft herbal blends of oils um i just released like six new ones yesterday um i'll drop the info below in the description but um yeah t today i have released them well, i haven't even released them yet um i also have different um oils herbal blends for different chakras but I have it for love and for health and wealth frequencies and all different kinds of goodness. Um, so if you're interested, um, the info will be in the description. And email me, please, <laughs> um, if you have any questions or if you would like to book a Reiki or a light language session. And I am open to doing donation-based. I am open and or I am open to... Um, take donations for services you know we all need healing don't we yeah <laughs> yeah so anyhow if you have a hat on or if you have your hair down I just heard this um you might want to uncover your crown um you might want to grab some water um I have a feeling this is going to be a really intense activation um <clears throat> as I am doing as I'm channeling you might feel tingling, you might feel heat or cold sensations, um, you might feel my breath when I blow, then again you might not feel anything. Reiki and lock codes are both, in, they're intelligent, they go exactly where they are needed in your system and they can't be used negatively and I have nothing to do with it, my energy has nothing to do with it, I'm strictly a channel. Um, I kind of just step aside and let source, God, universe, your angels, ancestors, whatever, <laughs> um, come through. Yeah, so thank y'all for being patient with me while I talk. Today's been a really rough day. <laughs> I've probably done more crying in the past two weeks than I have done this year. And that's crazy because I just had a mastectomy several months ago and like there was a lot of tears there, but... <laughs> I knew this year was going to be a painful year, but I had no idea. Um, I thought it was, I thought, because I kept hearing messages that this was going to be a painful year and a year of growth and um, all that goodness that comes with it. Yeah, I just didn't realize it was going to touch a little bit everywhere. But there's purpose in pain. None of it's in vain. Are we going to learn from it? Are we going to move on? Are we going to listen to our divine guidance? Because we're always, we're always guided. the neighbor's house a little while ago and he wouldn't come home he wanted to stay with the neighbor no no yes this hey 
take a few cleansing breaths with me in through your nose. Hold at the top. Release. Just another day. A few more cleansing breaths with two anas that they can You may feel some tension of an opening. Um, you may even feel my hand on top of your head. I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to push all the old attitudes, all the overthinking, just all the bullshit, man. Just push it out into my hand with every breath.
these codes are going to activate your pineal gland. Sometimes it's hard to. Um, sometimes it's hard to release. I hate that word, release. Somebody made it very clear to me <laughs> that I was releasing, that I was re-taking a lease on all my stuff, and I, that's all I can think about. Anyhow, or um, it's, sometimes it's it's hard to let go of the overthinking, over the limiting beliefs, and there's a whole lot of those coming up for in the collective That's a big one to go on the other to be a station. your true self, who you really are, that you are divinity and your PJs with your fuzzy blanket, sovereign, とにあなたてしにそんてのこてしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたしたした
excuse me, to anchor A lot of you have some ancestors or people people um, who have crossed over that are trying to send you messages. Some are even trying to pass on spiritual gifts. If you are open to receive, this will help activate those spiritual gifts. I see a lot of empaths that don't realize they're empaths that are very sensitive to energy. And the thing about energy is you can have telepathy. Um, you can be so connected to other folks through cords and soul ties and whatnot that you are experiencing what they're experiencing. You're mirroring them. And you may not necessarily realize that's what that is. You might not realize that what that is. What that is. I see somebody, dude. Um, I see somebody. Sorry, y'all. That bird is driving. My dog crazy. I have a pigeon who thinks she's a pit bull. She plays like a bird. He plays like a dog. It's not always pretty. Um, somebody is going to be having a lot of visions. Some of them prophetic. However, you're going to be able to see energy. Um, you may even see um, the folks that have crossed over. Um, do not fear. They're always with us and they're always around us. And I heard not too long ago I was channeling for somebody else that if you're afraid of what you're going to see, they back off. They don't pressure us. They don't push us. There is a law of non-interference. It's a universal law that cannot be broken. Your angels cannot help you. Your ancestors, your spirit team, the universe can't help you unless you ask. But be willing. Anchor and crystal and that. We're going to bring that crystal and lots through our crown, down to our pineal glands. We're going to activate the third eye. We're also going to cleanse it for those who are open. You may be feeling some pressure in the middle of your forehead, even behind your eyes, maybe in your face. I'm not a medical professional. Professional, if um, if any of the detox or clearing um, is too hard in your system, please, 
please seek medical advice. I do not want to be responsible <laughs> of the questions that they can, you know, push this, the guy, the, you know, you know, hey, uh, hey, then, you know, that they stick it, push this, that they stick it, that they push this, that they get it. We're going to take off the lens of the ego. We're going to sweep it out. So much gratitude and love, respect and honor for Buddha. <laughs> you might notice recently that some of your pets, well, you're, of course, your pets, um, they feel the energy just like we do. Pete has been quite <laughs> anxious. He's had a lot of anxiety, a lot of panning, and seems like he's dehydrated all the time. He hasn't been eating. Um, so just remember that not only pets, but our littles feel it too. Um, you may find your toddlers pretty cranky, back talking, um, exercising their divinity. Exercising their sovereignty. Because they remember so much more than we do. Um, our true nature hasn't been conditioned out of them yet so the Konyan a lot of them are used to manifesting very 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 quickly and when they incarnate here on earth um <laughs> y'all know it ain't that quick they don't have they don't they don't know how to communicate um very well so yeah everybody's feeling this just let's show everybody a little love and compassion to ghost and especially ourselves not just the people in our spiritual circle to go and she is the deist no what they you have to coach the nanante the key at the stanatai and the nice to not die dance dash the day take you and you're not i should test the idea that Imagine my hand on your forehead to go this day. I want you to push out all the old programming to go this day, go this day, the old paradigms to go this day, paradigms, I guess, to go this day, to take it, thank you, to go this day. Okay, take cleanse and breath. In through your nose, feel your belly. Don't let the 
Take a deep breath, hold it, and when you release, push out. <clears throat> push out all the false narratives. Push, 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 Call him Rainbow Rays. The coolest dish on the for the third eye. The third eye is affecting all well numerous chakras. The coolest dish that's that that they talk in. Remember, there is no separation. Everything is one. So sometimes I have trouble with the chakra system. I work with the chakra system, but also um, everything's connected. The coolest dish Allow Buddha, allow Buddha to heal. Then they take care of the stress to the day. We're gonna anchor in some crystalline and gold light for the crown and that third of the ashes in the day. <coughs> somebody's throat chakra is struggling so I'm going to go ahead and try to take care of that and maybe the higher heart um, I'm feeling a lot of pressure on my shoulders so someone might be feeling really tense um, muscles tight you may be feeling pain in your neck um, movement, mobility issues, um, maybe in your jaw, maybe even your teeth. Even in your chest. We're going to call our angel Michael in to come in with his sword and cut some cords. Now, cords can be black, they can be silver, even gold. Um, the black ones are always negative. That deals with like unhealthy attachments. Um, any kind of black magic ties, things of that sort, negative programming, we're going to call, yeah, I see it, for somebody you may have a ring in your ears or some very 
different tones there's messages and everything um but this is a message for somebody specific um the right ear um it's going to be your confirmation to push since your left ear ear is going to be your warning but with all this clearing and with all this healing with anchor and light um it's very possible you will have some symptoms um honor and be sure to hydrate eat clean eat blue purple fruits <laughs> um i'll post in my community um about how to heal your upper chakras Take a deep breath and imagine crystal and light coming down through your crown. Imagine some gold sparkly dust as well. Imagine it tapping and bursting open your crown. Down to your throat. Down to your throat. Down to your heart. Down to your solar plexus. Down to your sacral. Down to your root. And into the earth.
spending time with me. Thank you for finding me worthy of your time. Um, if you would like to book a Reiki light language or light code healing session or you would like an intuitive read, um, please email me. I'll leave my information in my um, description. You can find my business on Indigo and Amber Naturals on Facebook. Um, I will also be posting a video. I don't know if I'll make it tonight or tomorrow, but I will be posting it. Um, and we will be channeling. We will be harnessing the solstice energy for activations and new beginnings and all that goodness. So anyhow, y'all have been not much love, peace and blessings.